It's October, it's 2013 and it's getting close to the end of the year again so this is usually when I make a, a quick video tour of my current setup just to document it and maybe talk about the games I've been playing, some of the games I'm currently playing and I was kind of debating on whether or not to make one of these videos this year. I've made one the last two or three years I think but to be honest in the last 12 months not a whole lot has really changed in the, the setup here so I was kind of debating whether or not I should to go ahead and make one because if you watch my channel you're probably sick of seeing this and you know exactly what you're about to see anyway but I really enjoy watching people's responses to these videos I love to see everyone else's setups and see how they've changed over the, the last few months so I know you can't do video responses anymore but if you want to make a video showing your setup then please feel free go ahead and maybe just post a comment in the comment section and I'll go find your video and put a link to it in the, the description of this one so everyone can find it. But anyway, what I'll do here is I'll quickly run through my setup. I'll start with the two 360s and the one in the corner there is a 250GB matte black Xbox Slim. That's a new addition since the, the last video I made. I had to get a new 360 because my original white one died, which is no surprise at all. And next to that is the original fat uh, Elite, which I have JTAG hat. You can see the fancy hard drive in the top there. It has a, a blue uh, ring of light and what have you. But this one can play all your, your backups, you can rip games, you can play homebrew, all that sort of thing. Uh, that one doesn't go online. That one does, the one in the corner, but this one I use just for messing about with. Next to it here is a 150 terabyte hard drive, which I back up and store all my 360 games on so I can just play all the games from that on the, the JTAG unit there which is kind of cool. On the top we've got a, an Xbox Live camera which has just today been made a bit redundant and I'll get to that in just a moment. But that's the, the two 360s in the corner there. 360 is probably one of my favourite consoles and one of the consoles I play most often. Down here we've got the original fat PlayStation 2, the black model and next to that we've got a a Nintendo Wii, again another black model. This is one of the, the backwards compatible ones, so you can play your, your GameCube on that. And this is hooked up through a, a scaler and uh, the SLG 3000, which I've done videos on previously. Um, I also did a video on installing the, the scaler, which is just back there and mounted to the, the underside of the unit. Um, yeah, this, is, this PS2 is also hooked up through RGB SCART if you're interested. Uh, next to that we've got the HD DVD drive for the 360 which I've painted black and this I painted it black a couple of years ago and you can see it's starting to uh, chip away and he's retouched up basically. But I've got quite a big collection of HD DVDs. I really like old uh, kind of discontinued obsolete format so I do still watch HD DVDs. I think my collection is still bigger than my Blu-ray collection so yeah there you go. Here I've got the head unit for my uh, headphones which I use for gaming and basically watching movies with these on as well. They're, they're really good. They're Triton I think is the name of them. They're 5.1 surround sound speakers and you can, yeah, you can adjust the, the output in each speaker. There's like five speakers in each ear. Again that was like a, an eBay faulty bargain purchase. I did a video on it previously. Here I've got my Master System Mark 1. This has been modded to 60 Hz and on the front here I've also got the, the 3D glasses adapter and I can still play that. Um, not with the, the LCD screen obviously but there's a, a way for me to get around that and I'll show you that at the end of the video. And as a placeholder I always have my copy of Robocop vs Terminator sitting in the machine. Under that we've got the Xbox One, the, the proper name for it, and this is a, a modified Xbox. If I just power this up here, you can see the, the jewels backlit. You've got the executor chip on the front there. I've actually, if I just turn this on and enable it, it will go blue. And of course, it's got the screen on the front, so that should come on any minute now. Any minute now, there we go. Executor 3 Retro Game Tech. So that's the modded Xbox One, not the original Xbox. Um, what's next here? We've got the 
black Dreamcast. This is the D Direct unit. Uh, one of my all time favourite systems. This has been modded with a region free BIOS, so it'll play any game you put in it, any retail game, not your backups. Um, finally, I've got my broomstick handle here, which I <laughs> wrapped in um, black tape. A lot of people complained about that last time. Um, next, here we've got the Sega Saturn. Again, this has been modded. It has a, it's got a region free BIOS in it, it's also got a 50 60 hertz switch in the back of it, and that's hooked up through RGB SCAR. This is hooked up through the VGA and the SLG 3000. So, over here, we've got the Beast, we've got the Mega Drive uh, stack, the Monster, we've got the Mega CD on the bottom here. This is a new addition, this is the wireless controller adapter for the, the system, so that sits in the front. I've got an original uh, high definition early model Mega Drive. This is a PAL unit and it's been modded with the language and 50 60 hertz switches on the side. We've got a 32x and then we've got the Sega channel adapter as well. And just to top it all off, oh, I'll try and spin this round. You can see there's the modem on the back as well, which is really dusty. That needs cleaned. So Above that, we have the Sega Multi Mega, and this is one of the well, this is the only console I've not got hooked up. Um, there's really no need when I've got this, but I don't want to just have this sitting in a cupboard. It's too cool, so I always have it sitting out in display here, and I think it looks pretty neat. Here, I've got the um, media player. This is what I use to play all my HD movies. This little thing will play 1080p through an HDMI cable, it plays all your MKV files, all your uh, TV shows, what have you, You've got a, an SD card slot and a USB and that is uh, connected to the, the underside of the, the cabinet there. Here we've got the Wii sensor bar, again it's connected to the underside of the, the unit. And over here we've got my PS3 and as you can see this is a game I've been Playing recently, it's Beyond Two Souls. I just completed it mm, about a week ago. Really enjoyed it. I think it's probably a bit of a, a Marmite game, either love it or hate it. I started off not really enjoying it, but by the end of it, I really uh, I thought it was good. I thought it was really good actually, but yeah. So here's my PS3. This is modded with a custom firmware, it's running Rebug firmware, which I can't remember the exact version, it's the latest version at the time of making this video anyway. And the PS3 sits in this fancy little stand, you can turn the, the LEDs on and off. I can't remember where I got this, I think I got it on either Amazon or Argos for like £5, but it, it allows you to have the, the console set up right, which I can prefer. I don't really have the room for having it sitting horizontal anyway. The hard drive in this, I think, is only like um, 120 gigabyte. I don't really remember, but because it's modded, you can rip all your games to that and play them off it, which is really handy. Um, it's also a region-free DVD and Blu-ray player, so I can play my imported Blu-rays on, which is mostly what I use the, the PS3 for. Any gaming I do is usually done on the, the 360. The PS3 only plays games like um, Beyond Two Souls and what was the other one I played recently over on the shelf? Uh, the Last of Us. I only play uh, exclusives on the, the PS3. So there we go. That's the the bulk of the, the setup there. The latest addition is this little thing here, which I actually had no intention of ever getting, but um, my local game store are getting rid of their their, all of their pre-owned stock of this thing, obviously because the the Xbox One, if you want to call it that, is coming out and they're trying to get rid of them. So this thing I got literally three hours ago for £10 pre-owned and yeah, I'm, I'm happy enough to buy it at that price. To be honest, there's not really enough room in my gaming area here for the motion sensing of it all. You, you can, off the walls and stuff so it's kind of pointless for that but the 
voice commands are, are kind of cool just for browsing the dashboard and getting the Xbox to um, switch on and not no, switch on, switch off and uh, getting it to play videos and, and things just from telling it to. It's a bit of a novelty, I think I'll probably get fed up with it soon enough and yeah that sits up there for now. But £10, can't really complain at that. Here I've got some of my 3DS games, I keep them here. And below that we've got the uh, the DS games that I have. You can take a look at them if you want. And down here we've got the Wii games. There's more down there. And then here we've got some US Dreamcast games. And then the bottom there's some Saturn and uh, Japanese Dreamcast games. Got my lamp there, and this is my Max Factory bootleg Kasumi, which used to sit up there, but she's kind of been uh, demoted now that the, the Kinect is, is here, which should probably get put back up there when I get fed up with the, the Kinect. And there you have it, that is my my setup, that's what I've been playing recently, uh, that's how I've been gaming for 2013. On to some of the games that I've been playing, and like I mentioned, I've just finished Beyond Two Souls on the PlayStation 3, and before that it was The Last of Us I'd played, and I think those are two of the best games that have been released on that system, I thought they were excellent, really, really good quality games. Um, the other night I finished the last piece of DLC for Mass Effect 3. I completed this game a couple of months ago, but I really didn't want it to end, so I kind of eked out the, the last piece of DLC as long as I could and finally finished it the other night. But yeah, I think I mentioned in my 2012 video that I'd started playing the, the first game here, and since then I've played through Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3 as well, and really, really enjoyed the, the entire series. Mass Effect 2 is probably the, the best out of the, the three, but overall, uh, yeah, probably one of my favourite gaming experiences of all times playing these games here, and I think I'm going to go back and start the first one again and go through it. I enjoyed it that much. But, yeah, the next thing I'm going to play, I think, is this here, Deus Ex. Um, I've had this for about a year. I only paid like £5 for it. I've heard it really good. But, that is what I think I'll start maybe this week and uh, see how that goes. So finally, I'd mentioned I had a way of getting around not being able to play the likes of 3D games on the Master System and light gun games and what have you because obviously the LCD modern TVs aren't compatible with the, the older retro systems when it comes to those sort of things. So my solution is I just pull out the Sony Trinitron CRT from the cupboard and hook that up. Mostly I just use it for playing the, the Neo Geo and the the Hyper Neo Geo that I got just recently uh, and it works great for that but if I want to use it with any of these retro systems I can if I want what I do is I've got this thing here I've got my uh, SCART cable, I just plug this bit into the back of the TV and then around this end here and I've got this connector which I can hook up to the uh, the splitter that's at the back there so all these consoles are, are connected to a, a kind of like a a splitter and this gets connected into that so instead of the signal going to that TV it just goes over to this one so I can play light gun games and use the 3D glasses or, or what have you so that's my solution to playing retro consoles on the, the LCD for the games that don't support it I just bust out the, the Sony Trinitron I've got some Metal Slug playing there but there you go that's my current setup that's my setup for 2013 I'd really love to see everyone else's so if you want to make a video please do leave a comment in the comment section and I'll find your video and then add a link in the description of this one so everyone can go find it but as always thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon